Hi, welcome to Start PHP. In this video, we will have an introduction to PHP for absolute beginners. So in this video, I'm going to show you what tools you need, how to download them and how to set them up and also will start using and coding with PHP. Uh, for this video, there is another video required that you need to have and that is installing WAMP server. I have another video, that, uh, the link is at the description. So you have to watch that video before coming to this video so your machine is prepared in, for writing codes in PHP. This is lesson number one. We will have a series of other lessons that are coming after this. Uh, our website is startphp.com. If any of the lessons need special code that uh, ne you need to run, I will post it on our website. But this introduction uh, lesson will not have any code so in this video, you will learn uh, what is HTML, a brief introduction. After that, we talk about what PHP is. Then we talk about the server that you need on your machine, which is free. And it's called Apache, MySQL, and PHP, all in one as a server. And then we will go through installing and setting up, setting up NetBeans for PHP, which is another great free open source tool. After that, we, talk, we will show you how you can print simple text or HTML using PHP. Then we will go to uh, PHP documentation, so how you can use online sources in order to get help or develop your code efficiently. After that, we talk about variables, what is variable. And then we will print block of HTML code, or as we call it, hair code. And then we talk about concatenation or we concatenate things. Then we will give you an example of single and double quote. See, the first thing that you need on your machine is if you're using Windows, you need WAMP. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So you need WAMP server if you're using Windows. For WAMP server, I have another video uh, which you can click and Let's see that the link for the video is uh, in the description of this video so please watch that and you need to have WAMP server or Apache MySQL on your machine if you're using Windows if you have other uh, op computers then you will need other uh, type of software for example if you have uh, Mac or Macintosh so then you need MAMP which is Macintosh, Apache, MySQL and PHP this is also available online, you can download it. Then if you are using Linux machine, then it's called LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. So these are free tools that you can download and these servers that we mentioned are uh, one uh, executable or installation system that install and configure all of this for you. So you just click on next, next and it will be done. So, okay, now let's see what actually HTML is. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So this is a language that the browser displays or formats or presents the text of a page that is displayed on the screen or brought to the screen. So all those beautiful pages with all uh, buttons, table, images, and all those things that you see behind the scene they are just plain text coming and image is being also brought by the browser on the screen. So let's have a look at some of the examples. Okay, so this is a W3School website, which is a great website for many of the code references that you need to do. So all this that you can see here and all these, everything behind the scene, these colors that you see green, all of those are presented with HTML. So I'm pressing Ctrl and U to see the source code. So this is the source code for all the text that you saw on the screen. So the job of these are to format and display. For example, these are all um, HTML code, but browser displays them according to the instruction here. For example, this is H3. And then it says example, this is a header, h mean header, and 3 is size 3, so that, that's a header size 3 of the word example. So 
if I press uh, F12 for Firefox, you will see these four windows. So either when you move your mouse here, it shows from outer area of the screen and so forth. So if I click on this um, selection tool and come here, immediately it tells me that the size of pop-up, you see the, si the pop-up here, it says 672.9x. Uh, 98 pixel by 45 so that's the width and then the 45 is the height and on the right side here it shows the, the that um, uh, text so let me click here you will see it says h2 table border so that's the one so that's header size 2 so this is the text and it's being displayed this way with all those even h2 and greater than less than sign around it is a pure text that is HTML in brief. So what is PHP? This is actually a hypertext preprocessor. So H is now here to make it catchy. They put uh, that there and some people also say HP. So hypertext preprocessor is 1P and then this P is here. So regardless, so that's hypertext preprocessor. This is a language that generates all those texts in HTML that you saw. One of the major functions of it, of course, it does some other things, for example, image manipulation and generating PDF and um, a lot of other binary work. But majority of the job of PHP is to generate page based on need or instruction in, uh, in programming language or scripting language that you write, and it generates the page. So without PHP or without one of these dynamic, as they call it, because the page is generated based on a programming language. So a program, for example, based on the day of week, uh, the hour, you can generate different page based on information from database, based on login of someone identifying it, generating different page. So PHP is a dynamic way of generating uh, web pages. Now let's get uh, downloading the NetBeans and installing it and also configuring it or setting it up for PHP. Okay, to get NetBeans, just go to netbeans.org. So you don't have to type it in Google because sometimes people are offering this with virus infected on their website under the NetBeans. So get it always directly from NetBeans and here's this screen might change sometimes they move this somewhere here or somewhere down but anyway click on download now select your operating system this is windows if you want linux you can also select linux you see linux is for and for linux you also can download for c plus plus java java different version of uh, flavor of that so if you have Mac, so also you can get the Mac. You see, these are the downloads for different version. But if you want to get Unit Beans that can do everything, you can also download it. It will be just a little uh, larger, and you download, and it can do all of those. The difference will be that when you create a new project, you have to also select what you want, which type of project. So mine is Windows, and for Windows, this is a PHP that I'm going to download. But we have two buttons here. This is called x86 and this is x64. x86 is 32-bit and this is 64-bit. So majority of machine at the moment are 64-bit. You rarely find 32-bit, but uh, let's see how we can check it. So on the store, just type system and you will see system information. Click on that. Okay, so here it says system type x64. If your machine is 32-bit, you will see x86 here. So x86 means 32-bit. So for PHP, I'm, I have this one, I'm clicking it and... So this is a file, you save it in your machine. Save, so now you see it shows 10 seconds, 111 megabytes. So the saving is complete. I'm just right clicking. I'm using Firefox, so containing folder. 
and this is that I've downloaded this is HTML that I've downloaded before that's the same thing exactly so anyway so just double click and run so this installation is simple just whatever it comes accept the terms and next the default path don't change it I suggest just keep it like that check for update that's also fine and install it so just uncheck and finish now uh, when NetBeans installs it creates a shortcut on your desktop so make sure that you have a WAMP server running so I'm just running WAMP server now here when WAMP server runs if you have watched my previous video so this should become orange and then green so when when that is green you can type localhost and get your website running so this this is now from my server and these are just folders so that is running now let's run NetBeans So you have to know where your files are. In my case, it's in C, WAMP, and then WW. So that is the root directory for the project that I do, or I can uh, create more folders. So this is NetBeans. You can go file and create new project with the yellow icon, or simply click here, and then select PHP, next, and then let's name it. So start PHP 00 and then from here select the folder click on my computer or from here computer go to wherever your WAMP server and your uh, directory is so that is start PHP here start PHP 001 next here it says where is so the main folder was localhost and under localhost we have one more folder so it will be here so that is fine next or we don't create any framework for now just finish so when net bean when net beans create a page it creates index dot php so this is a folder that you start and do all your work source for file when you when it says source file whatever you you can create actually it will go inside this and that is the file this index is this one so that source file refers to start php 001 here create an html file light right click new html here you can see so that's new whatever name you type it will be here with a uh, appended dot html at the end so that is html file if i go here you will see new html so that was how you install uh, netbeans so now netbeans is ready so you can type your code so this was the end of part one this uh, series continues at part two of the video so please continue watching that